which are essential for regulation, control, and coordination of the body functions. Neuron A neuron has a cell body called cyton with one or more protoplasmic processes extending from it. The long processes are called axons, which conduct impulse from the cell body. The short processes are called dendrons or dendrites, which conduct impulse towards the cell body. The axons and dendrites are collectively known as nerve fibers. Nerve fibers are collected into bundles in a nerve. Each nerve fiber is covered with a continuous sheath called neurilemma. Some nerve fibers are covered with a lipid-rich insulating layer called myem sheath. At intervals, there are constrictions called nodes of Ranvier. The junction between two neurons is called synapses. Depending upon the number of nerve fibers, neurons are classified into 1 unipolar, 2 bipolar and 3 multipolar neurons. Unipolar neurons. This type of neuron has only one conducting process called axon. It is seen in the developing nervous tissue. Bipolar neuron. It has a dendron and an axon. It is found in the retina of the eye. Multipolar neuron. It has a cell body called cyton and numerous short branched processes called the dendrites and an unbranched long process called axon. The human nervous system is divided into three distinct sections. 1. Central nervous system. 2. Peripheral nervous system. And 3. Autonomous nervous system. The central nervous system. Human brain. The human brain lies within the cranial cavity of the skull and weighs about 1.3 kilograms. Inside the skull, the brain is surrounded by three protective coverings called the meninges. The outermost membrane is the dura mater. The arachnoid mater is the middle covering and pia mater forms the innermost membrane closely applied to the brain. The space between the arachnoid's membrane and pia mater is called the subarachnoid space. It contains the cerebrospinal fluid and the major blood vessels. The brain can be divided into three divisions, namely prosencephalon, forebrain, mesencephalon, midbrain and rhombencephalon, hindbrain, based on the embryological development. Prosencephalon, forebrain. It consists of the cerebrum, diencephalon and the olfactory lobes. Cerebrum. It is the largest part of the brain. It is divided into the right and left cerebral hemispheres by a median longitudinal fissure. But at the base, they are interconnected by a sheet of nerve fibers called corpus callosum. The outer surface of the cerebrum is called the cortex. This is made up of grey matter and is composed of the cytons of the neurons. The inner part is the white matter. This is composed of bundles of nerve fibers. The cortex shows folds called gyri. The shallow grooves between the gyri are known as sulci. The intelligence of a person depends on the number of sulci and gyri. Each cerebral hemisphere is divided into four lobes, such as frontal at front, parietal at the top, temporal on the side and occipital at the rear. Cerebrum is the seat of consciousness, intelligence, imagination, memory and reasoning, thinking and planning. Specific areas are assigned on the cortex for specific functions. Diencephalon. Diencephalon comprises of the thalamus 
and the hypothalamus. In the floor of the diencephalon, there is a funnel-shaped depression, the infundibulum, which carries the pituitary body. The surface under the diencephalons bears optic chiasma. The roof of the diencephalon bears the choroid plexus. It is responsible for the formation of cerebrospinal fluid. The thalamus is responsible for relaying sensory impulses and coordinating motor activities. The hypothalamus helps in coordinating the autonomic activities, olfactory lobes. These are a pair of lobes concerned with the sense of smell lying on the lower surface of the cerebrum. Mesencephalon, midbrain, consists of four spherical bodies called corpora quadrigemina. These are responsible for the movement of the eyes, the head, and the reflexes of both sides of the body. Rhombencephalon, hindbrain. It consists of a cerebellum, pons varoli, and the medulla oblongata. Cerebellum has a median lobe vermis and two lateral hemispheres. The cerebellum regulates and coordinates the movements of the skeletal muscles and in actions like walking, running, etc. The cerebellum also helps in the maintenance of body balance. Pons consists of ascending and descending nerve tracts. It forms a broad bridge of fibers connecting the cerebellar hemispheres. It acts as a relay center and is responsible for the coordination of muscular movements on the two sides of the body. The medulla forms the bridge between the brain and the spinal cord. The roof of the medulla possesses the posterior choroid plexus. The medulla controls life activities like respiration, circulation, etc. Brainstem The medulla oblongata, the pons and the midbrain constitute the brainstem. Spinal cord is the downward continuation of the medulla oblongata, which lies in the neural canal of the vertebral column up to the level of the second lumbar vertebra. There are two enlargements in the spinal cord. They are the cervical and lumbar enlargements. Below the lumbar enlargement, the spinal cord tapers to form the conus medullaris, a connective tissue filament, the phylum terminale, extends from the conus medullaris to the last vertebra, coccyx. The conus medullaris and the nerves extending below resemble a horse's tail, hence known as corda equine. Ventricles The cavities inside the brain are referred to as ventricles. The cerebral hemispheres contain a large cavity called the lateral ventricles, ventricle 1 and 2. It communicates with the third ventricle in the diencephalon through the foramen of Monroe. The third ventricle in turn opens into the fourth ventricle in the medulla through a narrow canal, the cerebral aqueduct, aqueduct of Sylvius. The fourth ventricle is continuous with the central canal of the spinal cord. The ventricles and the central canal are filled with cerebrospinal fluid secreted by the croid plexus of the brain. The croid plexus is formed by the invagination of pia mater into the ventricles. The peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system has cranial and spinal nerves. Cranial nerves. Nerves which emerge from the brain are called cranial nerves. There are 12 pairs of cranial nerves in man. These nerves may be sensory, carrying impulses from the sense organs receptors to the brain. Motor, carrying messages from the brain to a muscle or a gland. Mixed, both sensory and motor in function. Spinal nerves, 31 pairs of spinal nerves emerge from the sides of the spinal cord. Each nerve has a ventral, anterior root 
and a dorsal, posterior root. The dorsal root has a ganglion. The ventral root consists of motor neurons and the dorsal root consists of sensory neurons. The dorsal and ventral roots join each other on the sides of the spinal cord to form the spinal nerve. So, the spinal nerve is a mixed nerve. Autonomous Nervous System This part of the nervous system lies outside the central nervous system. It works independently and helps in the functioning of organs like the heart, stomach and intestines. The autonomic nervous system consists of two sets of nerves with antagonistic, opposite functions. They are the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nerves. Parasympathetic nerves arise from the brain and spinal cord. The sympathetic nervous system comprises of two chains of ganglia that lie parallel to the vertebral column. Nerves which emerge out of these sympathetic ganglia are innervate organs like the heart, lungs, bronchi, stomach, intestine, urinary bladder, etc. There are nerve fibers which connect the sympathetic ganglia with the optional nerves. Sympathetic nerves cause dilation of the pupil, inhibit salivary secretion, accelerate the heartbeat and raise the blood pressure. Parasympathetic nerves constrict the pupil, influence salivary secretion, retard the heartbeat and lower the blood pressure. Sympathetic nerves cause contraction of the smooth muscles. Nerve endings release a substance called sympathin. Parasympathetic nerves Dietate the smooth muscles. Nerve endings release a substance called actylcholine. 